months ago, we made the switch from our Winnebago travel trailer to this, our 41-foot Grand Design Solitude 377MBS. We found a few pieces of gear that we needed to upgrade due to the size of the rig. I'm gonna get ready to show you some of those while Eleanor gives you a quick tour of the inside of the camper. Eleanor, what's that? A camper! A new camper! A new camper! Hello, my name is Eleanor and I'm here to give you a tour of our camper today. So right when you walk in the front door up the steps, you can see Josiah's room, which he has a really cool bed that can fold up and down. There's the legs. Over here is our kitchen and refrigerator. And then here are our steps leading up to my mom and dad's room. And this is the bathroom. And this is my bunk. And I love my bunk because it's very cozy and soft. And that's it, that's the whole camper. The first thing we ended up getting was a ladder. Even though there is a ladder on the back of the rig, we needed a way to get to the top of these 13 foot walls and especially the front cap to be able to clean it off after each drive. This is the Halo View RD7 Plus. We've been trying to use our camera system from our travel trailer ever since we got the fifth wheel and it just isn't working out. So we've got a new monitor, new backup camera. We've got the side view cameras. Our rig came pre-wired for backup camera system as well as side view cameras. And that's part of why we chose this one. This does have the side view cameras and that is gonna be a game changer when you're backing up blind side. And so you can either have the power right by the camera or you can run the power way up by your extension antenna. And because we've already got power at our taillights, we're gonna run the power right by the camera, the cord up to the center of the RV, and that's where I'll attach the antenna to the roof. Okay. Before we try out that camera, I'm gonna show you the couple other pieces of gear that we got specifically for the fifth wheel. We have not been able to reach our own 50 amp plug several times because our rig is so long. So we bought a 15 foot 50 amp extension cord that we're gonna keep with us on the rig. So in cases like this, or I can't make it to my plug, I just plug in my extension cord. So since we have six leveling jacks on this rig, we have got these snap pads and we've loved them. They are permanently attached to the foot on the bottom of the jack and that way we don't have to run around and place these orange blocks underneath each one. They work on all surfaces and have been a great addition to the rig. We went the entire time in the travel trailer without x chocks, but in the bigger rig with the additional weight, we just felt the movement inside a whole lot more. Added these between the wheels each time we park, it's been great. How you doing up there, Daddy? Good. Just running the last of the wires up to the antenna. Okay. Okay. I think I've got it all wired up right. Let's see if it works. That's crazy, Daddy. It's so, so clear. We now have the ability to see all the cameras at the same time. The driver's side. Hey, Eleanor. The passenger side. And we've also got, of course, the back. And it even has audio. Hope you enjoyed this video. Bye!